टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ग्राफिकल मेथड फ्रॉम दी लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट इज दी मिनिमाइजेशन केस सो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट सो लेट्स सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डिस्क्रिप्शन द केमिकल कंपोजिशन ऑफ सॉल्ट इज सोडियम क्लोराइड टाटा सॉल्ट लिमिटेड मस प्रोड्यूस टू हंड्रेड के जी ऑफ सॉल्ट पर डे सो दैट इज दस्ट्रेंट टू इनग्रीडियंट हैव द फॉलोइंग कॉस्ट प्रोफाइल सोडियम दैट इज रुपीज थ्री पर के जी एंड क्लोराइड इज रुपीज फाइव पर के जी यूजिंग लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग फाइंड द मिनिमम कॉस्ट ऑफ सॉल्ट एज्यूमिंग दैट नॉट मोर देन एटी के जी ऑफ सोडियम एंड एटलीस्ट सिक्सटी के जी ऑफ क्लोराइड must be used in the production process so first you have to formulate the problem from the description and then you can apply the graphical method so this is the description first decision has to be taken on how many quantities of product na and cl to be produced and so that you can say there are two decision variables x1 is equal to units of sodium and x2 is equal to units of chloride so i can write x1 is for the sodium and x2 is for the chloride now here cost is given to you 3 rupees per kg of sodium and rupees 5 per kg of chloride so if i produce 1 kg of sodium and 1 kg of chloride so my total cost will be 3 into 1 plus 5 into 1 where 3 is the cost of the sodium and 5 is the cost of the chloride so in general i can say 3 times x1 plus 5 times x2 if i produce x1 quantity of sodium and x2 quantity of chloride here it is cost so i can say my objective function will be minimize z is equal to 3x1 plus 5x2 now next here the constraint is given to you that tata salt limited must produce 200 kg of salt per day so this is exact requirement of the salt per day so i can say for production capacity total units are limited to 200 kg and so that i can say first constraint x1 plus x2 must be equal to 200 because of 200 kg of salt is given to you per day requirement and you know that for the salt it contain sodium as well as chloride so the total weight of sodium and chloride must be 200 kg and that's why it is equal to next look at this another constraint assuming that not more than 80 kg of sodium that means we can say for the sodium maximum requirement is 80 kg so once again look at this important word not more than 80 kg so the maximum requirement is 80 kg so i can write for the sodium x1 must be less than or equal to 80 next look at this parameter at least 60 kg of chloride must be used so here one more constraint for the chloride so you can say minimum requirements of chloride is 60 kg because of it is given to you at least 60 kg so you can say minimum requirement of chloride is 60 kg and so that i can write the constraint for the chloride is x2 must be greater than or equal to 60 and at last you can say these two are the decision variable so you can say non negativity restriction means x1 and x2 must be greater than or equal to 0 so this is the formulation of the problem from the description now we can apply 
the graphical method so that you will get the solution of x1 and x2. So this is the formulation of the problem. There are three constraints. So I have written three constraints first, second and third with equality sign. So if I put over here x1 is equal to 0, then I will get x2 is equal to 200. Similarly, if I put x2 is equal to 0, then I will get x1 is equal to 200. Now here x1 is equal to 80 directly given to you. So no need to find the coordinates. So at last I can say coordinates 0, 200, 200, 0. Here x1 is equal to 80. So you can say 80, 0. Here x2 is equal to 60. So you can say 0, 60. Now you can apply the graphical method. So first take the graph. This is a table already we have discussed. So take x1 on the x-axis and x2 on the y-axis. Now look at this value. This is a maximum value of x1. So based on that you can decide the scale on x-axis. Similarly, the maximum value of x2 is 200 and based on that you can decide the scale on y-axis. You can take the different scale on x-axis and y-axis also. Now, you should note down over here the scale on x-axis and here you can see 2 cm is equal to 50 so you can say 1 cm is equal to 25. So on x-axis 1 cm is equal to 25 unit and on y-axis 1 cm is equal to 50 unit. Now first look at this point 0 200. So it will be here. Next 200 0. So that will be here. Now join these two points. Now here it is equal to. So the arrow should be not away from the origin or not towards origin. So arrow is like this. So you can say this is constraint number 1. Now constraint number 2. 80, 0. So you can look at this 80, 0 and it is x1 is equal to 80. So you know that it should be the vertical line passing through this point. And this is less than or equal to. So it must be towards the origin. So the arrow is towards the origin. So let's say it is constraint number 2. Now constraint number 3. So look at first 0, 60. That is here. And you know that x2 is equal to 60. That means it is a horizontal line. So passing through this point, you can draw the horizontal line. It is greater than or equal to. So it is away from the origin. So the arrow should be like this. Let's say it is constraint number 3. Now if you look at these three constraints parallelly, then you can say this is the feasible line. So the very important point out of these three constraints, one constraint is equal to and so that you will get feasible line instead of the feasible region. So now you can apply the extreme corner point. So here only two points are there A and B. So I can say for the A point the coordinate is 0, 200 and for the B point it is 80 and 120. If you want to find exactly the coordinates of the B point, then you can use elimination method from the constraint number 1 and constraint number 2 so that you will get exactly the coordinates of the B point. Now, if you put x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 200 in this objective function, then you will get z is equal to 1000. Similarly, if you put x1 is equal to 80 and x2 is equal to 120, 
then you will get as 840. Now look at this objective function, it is minimize. So select the minimum value out of these two and so that the corresponding point will be your answer. So finally I can write the answer box x1 is equal to 80, x2 is equal to 120 and so that your minimum z will be 840. If you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends.